Good afternoon, everyone. It's midday. We're live from Durham. It's time for another episode of Tea with Richard. Hi, everyone. My name's Richard Hornby, and welcome to another episode of Tea with Richard. This is our 30th one of these episodes. It seems surprising just quite how quickly 30 episodes has come around, but we're here, we're still going, and it's the 30th show. So we've got something a little bit different lined up for you today. As always, I'm going to put the caption on the bottom of the screen, showing you where you can get in contact with help and support if you live in County Durham. Obviously, as I've said before, if you don't live in County Durham but do need help or support, contact your local councillor as they will be able to point you in the right direction to organisations who can help. Now, we're going to start off on a slightly more serious point, which is that yesterday you may have heard the Prime Minister Boris Johnson announce the next steps for what's going to happen. And I felt that the speech yesterday was quite confusing. So I'm going to take a few minutes now just to summarise the key points. And I'd like to thank a couple of councillors who helped me put this little sheet together. So to start with, from Monday the 11th of May, that's today, social distancing measures, as we've done in the past, will continue. We are also making sure that people work from home when they can. However, some industries, such as construction and engineering, are encouraged to return back to work if it is safe to do so, as in if social distancing safety measures are in place. We have also been asked to avoid public transport if possible. That's very simply because if you're trying to get to two metre separation, think about how many people you can fit on a bus or a train separating everyone by two metres. It's not that many. So if everybody who needed to go to work used public transport, there wouldn't be enough capacity. So from Wednesday, you're allowed to take unlimited amounts of outdoor exercise. That means your walks can get slightly longer and be more varied. You can also drive distances to do exercise if you want. However, please be aware that certain areas of the country, for instance, Cumbria, are still strongly advising people not to travel there because they have specific issues. You can also play sports with members of your household only and enjoy parks without having to exercise. That means sitting down, resting, sunbathing and so on, but all the time maintaining the two metre separation. They also previewed what would happen later on in the process. And these times are very much at the earliest. That doesn't mean that on the 1st of June this is all going to happen. This means what might happen at some point after that day. And that's on the 1st of June, the phase reopening of shops and the reopening of schools starting. And on the 1st of July, some of the hospitality industry and some public places. However, this is one to two months in the future. We can't predict how the virus is going to develop through that time. So at the moment, we can only really think about what is going to happen this week. And a reminder, that is, stay as you are. If you are working from home, remain working from home. Keep social distancing, as we've said before. But if you want to take more exercise, you can do. And if you work in an industry which is safe, Go back to work, kickstart the economy, the government is advising that you do this. However, obviously, if it is not safe, there are, sa there are not safety measures in place, don't go back to work. You, it is not breaking the law to tell your employer you do not feel the work is safe and not turn up. That is perfectly within your rights. So that is where we're at at the moment. And that is the end, really, of this more serious introduction to today's episode of Team with Richard. Now, as today is our 30th episode, I thought of doing a couple of things that are a little different. 
And to start with, the episodes are called Tea with Richard. But one of the what things that we haven't actually talked about so far is tea. Now, you've been noticing during the episodes that I've always had a mug of something. And I thought I'd start off by sharing with you what the teas or the fruit concoctions that I've been drinking during the episodes are. So this section is called Some of My Favourite Teas. Obviously, you can't see what's to the right of me. So we're going to reintroduce camera number two to show you my favourite teas. Now, obviously, to start with, we just have what I've actually been drinking most of, your standard Yorkshire tea. Now, please be aware that I am going to make quite a few teas in this episode. But don't worry, these teas are not going to be wasted. I will drink them. And that's why I'm making probably smaller quantities than usual. Uh, question, tea with milk or tea without milk? I tend to go tea without milk, which is why it's slightly weaker than other people do. However, this is Yorkshire tea without milk. This is one of the staples that I've been drinking during tea with Richard. But obviously, I do enjoy a more wider range of teas and fruit um, infusions than just standard Yorkshire tea. So I'm going to show you four more of my favourite teas today and hopefully you might be inspired to try something a little bit different. So the first tea, second tea really I'm going to show you, is a green tea. This one I tend to have in leaf form and Unlike some people, I just tend to sift the leaves off and make it a mug, especially when I'm sort of doing a demonstration. This is a fairly strong green tea. And it, it, it doesn't have, generally have much colour to it because it's a gunpowder tea and it is a very strong tea. And you might be able to see it there. It, it is a green in colour and it's just going to steep for the rest of this episode. And it will probably taste nice right by the end. Now, one thing that I would point out with this tea is that you should always make tea using really, really boiling water. And unfortunately, because of the setup here, I'm not able to do that today. So I'm just using um, your standard kettle water that was heated about a minute before I went on air. So these will not be the ideal ways of drinking tea, but they are nice teas, and that should make up for it anyway. Tea number three is a Wittard tea and it is mango and bergamot and it, it really is one of my favourite lighter teas. It's another green tea but it tastes very very fruity and again it's one of these teas that needs to sit and steep for quite a while to sort of the flavours to take off. Um, it's quite a yellow in colour tea as you hopefully can see there with its bad name and this one again it's steeped it's got a very nap strong fruity aroma which is the mango for some reason and it is really one of my yeah very very sweet aroma and it is one of my really all-time favorite teas now the final teas that i'm going to show you are actually fruit infusions they're actually branded as instant teas but they're I would say they're more fruity infusions. Um, they're from Wittard, and this is, you go see a cranberry and raspberry, which is a nice, simple tea that's red in colour. And again, I'm making small portions here, so I've got to waste the tea. And yes, I will be drinking them. And the other thing about these two teas, these last two, is that they are nice, hot, all cold. And this one, again, red in colour, quite a strong fruity smell and a very fruity flavour. And the final tea that I'm going to make is one of my all-time favourites and one that I keep trying to get, which is 
It's a mix of uh, instantly called Dream Time by Wittard. And it's honey, apricot and vanilla flavour. And some of the tea purists, because I know there are a few of you who watch this channel, will go, but that's not a proper tea. And my answer to you is, try it. It's one of my favourite teas. I usually have it before I go to bed on night. It's very relaxing. Um, which is obviously going to lead in in a couple of moments to our reflection time with a relaxing and calming cup of tea. So there you have it. There are my five favourite teas. And obviously I can just do a little bit of rearranging here. Put that one there, this one up here, that one down there. And what do we have? Well, red, yellow, green, dark green, and a very dark colour, which we could argue is blue. It's not blue, it's brown. But what we have there is a tea rainbow. So these are honestly what I have been drinking during the Team Adventures episodes. And if you do have favourite teas, and I'm sure for most of you, it will be this friend of Yorkshire tea. But as I say, there are plenty of alternatives available. If you do have a favourite tea, let me know in the comments or in the chat, and we might share some of other people's favourite blends of tea later on in the series. So, not the actual tea on Tea with Richard, which I thought was quite a fun way for our 30th episode. Now, the next part, as always, is reflection time. So I'm going to grab my reflective brew. There we are. Still quite hot. And we're going to talk about what today's reflection was, which was to talk about our favourite music. And I asked on Friday's show for a few submissions, and I'm going to put a Spotify playlist, which anyone can click, with links to these um, submissions later in the at the end of the episode. And today's um, thing to do, today's reflection, is to think about your favourite piece of music and to tell someone why it means a lot to you. And... I have two pieces of music that I'd like to mention, both of which are playing in the background on, over my voice, although it may be quite challenging to do this because I can't actually hear them playing. Uh, the first one that I want to share is Beethoven's Pastoral Symphony No. 6, which, yes, it's a piece of classical music, and it reminds me of going on the holidays as I was a child, because we used to go on holidays to the Lake District. And this piece of music is one we'd always listen to in the car on the way to the lake. So this is one of my, one of my two submissions for our favourite piece of music. And the second one that I would like to submit is entirely more modern. It was released uh, six years ago. And it's by the American country and western group Lady Antebellum, and it's called Hello World. And I heard this live at a concert in Manchester shortly after the um, the stadium opened for the arena bombings. And it was a very moving song, and the lyrics are actually very poignant. You probably can't hear them in the background. But I think it's a lovely song and I would encourage people to go and listen to it. I also asked the viewers to send in their choice of music and I had quite a wide variation. Um, John got in touch and mentioned Handel's Zadok the Priest, which he used to sing in a choir when he was younger. So that was a submission from John. You can possibly hear that going on in the background. Again, I don't know because I literally cannot hear any of the music that's going into this system. 
So this was Zadok the Priest, which was John's submission from his childhood days when he was at school. We also had a submission from another holiday moment from Pauline, which was uh, Vaughan Williams, The Lark Ascending, which reminded her of Skylarks flying over Cleve Hill when she was on holiday. And finally, we had a submission of another piece of music, which is somewhat more modern, which is called Guardian. Uh, I have no idea what this sounds like because it was sent in about two minutes before I went live. Uh, this is from Nikki, and she forgot to tell me why she liked it, so I hope she'll add that one on to the. Uh, some notes you'll probably send before our next episode but if you want to go and listen to any of those pieces of music as people's listeners favorites i have put a playlist called tea with richard's favorites in the comments that you can listen to just by clicking the link and it will open in a web browser so today's reflection time anyway is to think about why your favorite music means a lot to you oh i've just had a Hello from Nikki. Uh, they are, apparently they were playing, thank goodness, because literally all I could hear was silence. And she said that she couldn't help just feeling up, uplifted by the Guardian remix team. So, and lovely. Now we'll give you all the different teas. There's your colours for a complete tea rainbow. Well, I, I, I did a little one there with my with my five teas, uh, but uh, we, yeah, I'm sure people have more teas than that if they want. As I say, these teas aren't being wasted. I'm certainly making my way through them as we carry on with this second part of the episode. Okay, so now a little bit of a look ahead as to what's coming up on Tea with Richard. On Wednesday, like last week, I'm going to take another walk. It's not going to be too long a walk. We're going to have a look at Pilar Wood, which was somewhere we, uh, we, we took a little camera shot into it during the last episode. But I'm going to start over on Silverlink Bridge and I'm going to do a short walk around Peel Wood which just have a lovely view. I'm probably going to do that as a recording again and show you it not live but live. So if you're watching on the website please check to make sure it's not being premiered on YouTube and not showing up on the website. Friday of course we will be having our regular Your Corner feature and if you do want to submit content to Your Corner uh, the email address on the bottom of the screen now, t at malad-days.com, or you can visit the website, malad-days.com slash t. And I've got a lot of tea to drink, where you'll find out more about the other episodes, the previous 29 episodes that you can watch at your leisure. To get alerted when we go live, remember to click the subscribe button and give the bell some ears, and that will send you an email link every time we go live. If you're watching on the website, of course, you can click in the top right hand, left hand corner, click my head, and it will also enable you to subscribe. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting Tea with Richard over the past 30 episodes. And um, here's to a few more. Thank you again for joining me. And please remember, as always, once you've finished your tea, or in this case, teas, do remember to wash your hands. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Have a lovely day, everyone.